casualty was inspired by the life of Professor Gordon Hamilton Fairley, who was the father of my girlfriend in my teens. Um, and the poem is also a homage to Seamus Heaney's poem, Casualty. In his poem, Heaney commemorates the violent death of a friend during the Troubles, which was a fate that befell the prof, as we called him. He was uh, killed in London by a bomb intended for his next-door neighbor, the conservative MP. The prof was not only a brilliant oncologist, but also a wonderful human being, and for me, something of a surrogate father, since my own father had left my mother and gone off to start a new life. My poem follows the form of Seamus Heaney's poem, Casualty. At home that autumn morning, the radio began to blur. A car bomb, no warning, Camden Hill Square, man dead, device set off by his dog. Please God, don't let it be the prof. I used to wonder what he thought of me, his daughter's boyfriend, pitching up post-party, toothbrush stuffed in denims, squiffy, slurring words. Yet he was always gracious, although he'd been on wards all week, staring at death, or conducting seminars on lymphomas, leukemia, or lowering the blood pressure of staff at St. Bartholomew's. I felt as if I'd lost a dad, again, the adult listener I'd never really had, a soulful empathizer. I can see him at their cottage, light fading as he pokes a bush to find a guinea pig and save it from the fox. 1950s retro, side parted auburn hair, an open face, crooked elbow, attentive, ready to share the countdown of his days. For we had no idea that he, a cancer specialist, was fighting cancer too. The murder of a lifesaver, the headlines shouted. The bomb was for a neighbor, delayed from going out. The dog had sniffed the car. The windows imploded in the square. From body parts, they identified his elbow. I went to Holland Park and joined the family, delirious with shock, crying, laughing alternately. That night the four of them collapsed to sleep in one bed, a tangled heap of limbs like the raft of the Medusa. The evening of the service, Mum and I met Dad in his Fleet Street Irie, a trinity re-glued for a couple of hours. Dad was quiet, sheepish, perhaps all too aware of being lynchably Irish. He asked about my tie and looked a little miffed when I replied that it had been the pros. We headed for St. Paul's, the sky gunpowder grey, Dad musing on the war when bombs were to a penny. We thought a hundred souls would come, but thousands filled the floodlit cupola. It was as if all London was in mourning. The dome, rising like a huge balloon on a myriad candle flames and breath of hymns. Afterwards, we went home, Dad to his second wife, me to my single mum, the pros four children to a life without their only dad. In the cathedral crypt, dear prof, your plaque declares in stone that it matters not how a man dies, but how he lives. A bomb may vaporize us, but cannot even bruise the memories of gestures and acts of love or malice that stamp us thereafter. Like placing a device behind the wheel of a car or searching a bush to save a guinea pig. You cared for life and gave your days helping others to survive and to forgive.